Alright. Hello everyone. Feel free to reply and say hello back to me. It is a salutation. But you have to keep this in mind. If you say hi back to me, you're gonna sound like a crazy person talking to yourself. And when your parents walk into your room and be like, hi Fritzy, they're gonna be like, get him the meds. Get her to the psychologist. So if you want to keep your dignity, don't answer back to the computer because you're going to sound like a psycho freak. And if you don't give a rip about what anybody else thinks, like me, obviously, feel free to wave and say hi back. But I won't, I won't be able to tell. It's like a one-way kind of thing there. Um, so yeah. I'm going to tell you guys about my volleyball tournament. It was amazing. Like me. The volleyball tournament is to Fritzy. It's chocolate cake is to magnetic refrigerator magnets. Who knew? Um, so yeah, so we left on Friday. I got to skip school on Friday. Met at the school. We met at the Christmas tree. That, that was the most important part of the entire weekend. We met at the Christmas tree at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, and then we got on the tram, and then we went to the train station, got on the train, and been a really fun time on the train. Interpret that how you how you would like to. And um, so then we got to the volleyball tournament. It was in Dresden, Germany, like an hour away from Leipzig. Like, whatever. Um, and then we had three games on Friday and one game on Saturday. And we won like one game, I think. Yeah, we won one game. And, I don't know, I played in like two or three sets or something like that, because I'm not the most valuable player on the team whatsoever. But it was it was fun still. And then, um, I basically ran around the entire day in like sweatpants and my really unattractive uniform. The uniform's really hideous. And to top it all off, we're like, we have like dark, well not navy blue, but it's like, I don't know, it's generic blue. And everybody else has like baby blue, sky blue, dark sea churning with anger blue, and it's weird. So everybody had like blue and like we were either the dragons or the lions and it was really good. So and then um so it ended around like eight that night and then we had host families that we stayed with. I stayed with my friend Gina in in a house with like the parents were from Norway and the children were born and raised in California. So that was cool. It was a lot of like American nostalgic like nostalgicness. No, that's not a word. Anyway, the experience was nostalgic for me because I'm from the U.S. and they have a lot of like U.S. furniture, U.S. food, since they've only been in Germany for a few months. So that was fun. And then we got up really early and got to the tournament in like 8, eight o'clock. Yeah, we got there at 8. Our first game wasn't until like 11. And our coach didn't get there for a while. And it was one of those experiences where you're like, well, I feel really awkward because I got here three hours early. Hmm. So, but it, it was okay, it was okay. Um, and then the last game, it was really fun because I really suck at serving. Like, I am retarded when it comes to serving. Like, oh, um, aww. I didn't mean to knock that person out. The ball just went that way. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It was okay. Um, but um, my coach played me for one of the sets, like the last set that we played, the third set, because you play, in the finals, you play five sets instead of just three. And we won all three sets in a row. And then the last set, um, we had to get five more points. And I scored, and I, like, all of a sudden, I got my serves down to a science. And I got four serves. And then I was serving on the game point. But there was so much pressure. I was like, <laughs> so I didn't get it. It fell short of the net. It was okay, though. Because then they got, like, the, um, the other team got the ball. But then I, like, hit it over the net and got the game point. So I did the last four serves, and I got the game point. And... I was still standing there like, like, what the hell just happened? Like, did I honestly just do that? When, like, Josie, one of the kids, like, Josie, one of the kids from our team, like, jumped on top of me, like, ah! Oh, oh yeah, we won. We're at this time. So, yeah. And then we had a fiesta. And then we got fifth place. It was okay. It, whatever. But the real kicker was that, um, like, our boys team, they didn't really do any, like, do well. Like, I thought that they were playing really, like, they play really well. The thing, like, but the other teams just like play better, you know, like our boys team is like really already very high, but then it's just like the other teams are like just this much better. So it's okay. Um but they were they were nominated for the best 
sportsmanship award thing, but then Dresden got it because they were hosting it. And to be fair, they were really great hosts. Like, the tournament was really, really great. Um, but the thing is, uh, the girls' team, we were the only team not, like, nominated for good sportsmanship. To be fair, we were trying to, like, peg the other players in the head with a volleyball during practice, during warm-up, but, uh, that was only because they gave, like, they smacked balls across the... Okay, no, that sounds really wrong, but it's not. They were hitting the volleyballs across the net at us, and we were like, oh, fuck. But it was not, 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 no, it wasn't, we, we weren't very dignified. No. Was here. And then in the last, in the finals for the boys, um, somebody, like, cracked his ankle in half, so, like, his leg was, like, here, and, like, the, ankle, like, the foot's supposed to be here, but it's, like, <coughs> back. I'm like, oh, that was painful. And we met a Canadian kid, but he wasn't, he was from Dresden, but he came to eat Subway, but he had no team spirit, and then, words defy him, I, I don't understand, he explained to me, uh, no, he, he retold his epic tale of uploading the entire Star Trek series onto YouTube, I'm like, couldn't really give a shit, even if I tried, sorry, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go because you probably have better things to do with your time than watch these stupid videos that I make just because I'm bored and have nothing better to do with my life. So, so Spritzy Whitman, signing off.